Hello Year 3, so I am going to introduce a new skill for our Pentecost term and that is can you solve problems including correspondence problems in which n objects are connected to m objects. So this is on your maths plan for next week um, but if you want to have a look at it now then go ahead. Sounds very difficult but hopefully you will see that it's not as tricky as it seems. So what are correspondence problems? So it's basically about finding different combinations for more than one set for different objects. So if you've maybe got a selection of tops and skirts, how many different outfits can you make? and the tops and the skirts being the N object and the M object. It will make more sense as we get going. Have you got everything ready? Feel free to pause each slide whenever you need to. Let's go. So it's going to be easier to practice this in action. So we're going to have to think about our knowledge of four operations, particularly multiplication and division. And it might be a case of you drawing little pictures to help you visualise how you can solve the problem. So feel free to do that at any point if you need to. Mm. So as always, let's start our basic skills with a little bit of time to practice our times tables. You can follow the pathway, see how high you can get up in five minutes maybe. Extra points for those of you that are learning your eight times tables and having any practice at that. So when you are ready, let's move on. So, how many legs does one horse have? So hopefully if you can see in the picture there, you can count that the horse has got one, two, three, four legs. How about if there was two horses? How many legs would there be? And three horses, four horses, and five horses. Hopefully you've recognised that maybe our four times table is going to be useful there. So one horse, four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty legs for five horses there. So this is where things are going to get a little bit more tricky. If I can count 16 legs, how many horses would there be? Now you might want to draw some pictures here to help you. You might have a strategy in your head already. Let's have a look together then. So I've got one horse, four legs. Two horses, I've got four, eight legs. Three horses, four, eight, twelve legs. Four horses, four, eight, twelve, sixteen legs. So I've got sixteen legs. How many horses? One, two, three, four. So you might have done it by drawing pictures. You might have done. 16 legs divided by 4 because each horse has 4 legs and you would have got the answer 4 as well. So let's think about those connecting objects now. 
and I've got a fact. A horse has four legs and two eyes. Now you can't see my two eyes in the picture, but that's okay. Hopefully you know that most horses will have two eyes. So if there are eight legs, how many eyes must there be? So how are we going to solve that problem? Well, what we need to do is we're going to start with the eight legs that we know. We're going to divide it by four because we know each horse has four legs to find out how many horses there are. So hopefully you did eight divided by four and you got two. So we know there are two horses. So with this answer, two, we're going to multiply it by two to find out how many eyes there are. Now we've multiplied by two because there are two eyes. So we did two times two equals four. So let's have a go at doing some of the questions like that then. If there are 28 legs, how many eyes are there? And then we've got another one the other way around. If there are 24 eyes, how many legs are there? So you might want to pause to see if you can have a moment to work it out. So let's think about those answers then. You would have had to do a couple of steps. If we have got 28 legs, we want to know how many eyes there are. So I know there are four legs with one horse. So I'm going to do 28 divided by four. What's our answer there? Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. So I've got the answer of seven. Now I need to multiply seven by two because we know that each horse has two eyes. So seven times two equals 14. So the next one is the other way around. We're starting with the eyes this time. If there are 24 eyes, how many legs are there? So 24 and we're going to divide by two because there are two eyes per horse. 24 divided by 2 equals 12. So we know that there are 12 horses. How many legs are there? Now, one horse has four legs. So we need to do 12 times 4. And we should get the answer 48. <laughs> So it's going to get even trickier this time because we've got another character introduced. And this time we have got a boy. And you can see there dangling on the branch, the boy has got two legs. We know that the horse has got four legs. So if I can count 24 legs, how many of each creature might there be? So there are two, two things we need to do here. Firstly, we just need to look at the boy. Now we know the boy has two legs. So if there are 24 legs, how many boys would there be? Hopefully you did 24 divided by two, those two legs, and you should have got 12. So there could be 12 boys. Or if we were just looking at the horses, we would do 24 divided by four, because there are four legs of that horse. And hopefully you got six. So if there were 24 horse legs, there would have been six horses. This is where it's going to get even more tricky. 
Again, we've got our boar and our horse. This time we've got 24 legs again. How many of each combinations of creatures might there be? Can you be systematic here? So we're not just looking at the boy, we're not just looking at the horse, we're looking at maybe some boys and some horses. Now, I'm going to give you a little um, strategy that might help you here. And it's to use a table. So we've got the boy, the horse, and we've got the total. Now our total needs to be 24 because that's in our question. And we want to know how many different boys, how many different horses could there be with the total of 24 legs. So in my example, I thought, okay, well maybe there'll be four boys. So the boy's got two legs, so I did four times two, and I've got eight. So there are eight boys' legs. The horse, I then thought maybe there are four horses. Each horse has four legs, so I did four times four equals 16. And my total, is 8 and 16 and that got to 24. So one combination of those creatures could be four boys, four horses to give us 24 legs. Now that is definitely not the only answer. So I wonder if you could see if you could systematically have a go at filling out a table like this to find those different combinations of creatures. Now you might do a little bit of trial and error. It might not work first time, but then you can see maybe if your total is too big, you maybe need to reduce the number. If your total is too small, you might need to increase the number of creatures you have. So if you're looking for an extra challenge, you could maybe see if you could introduce some other characters, maybe the fox, the mole, see if you could um, maybe write your own questions, create your own correspondence tables with more characters as well. And I would definitely recommend doing some drawings, some sketches that might be helpful too. And there we go. As I said at the start, on the 19th of June, it is our activity on the maths plan and there is um, an activity for you to have a go at. But feel free to look at this beforehand. You might want to re-watch it. Um, but yeah, enjoy. Let us know if you need any help. Bye.